friends good morning now today we are going to learn the chapter number 10 of 12th class that is magnetic field due to electric current magnetic field due to electric current up to 10th class we have already discussed that the magnetic field is developed around the magnet or magnetic material but do you know that the magnetic field also produces around a current carrying conductor that is suppose a conductor or a wire suppose this is a conductor or this is a wire and current is passing through this wire then magnetic field produces around this conductor that is current carrying conductor or we can say that the moving charges can also produces a magnetic field and in this lecture we will discuss about the magnetic field produced due to the current carrying conductor or we can say that due to a moving charges now in this lecture also we will discuss about how to find the direction of magnetic field and the what is the effect of the force due to the magnetic uh, uh, field produced in the wire now this first discover by the oerste now we will discuss how the magnetic field produces in the current carrying conductor and what is the direction of magnetic field produced due to the current carrying conductor this direction can be find out by using the right hand thumb rule what says the right hand thumb rule or how to apply this rule or by using the right hand thumb rule how can you find the direction of magnetic field produced due to the current carrying conductor now suppose this is a conductor current carrying conductor i is the current passing through this conductor this is the upward this is upward direction of the current current flows in this direction now held the conductor in our right hand held the current carrying conductor in our right hand in such way that in such way that a conductor or is held in our right hand in such way that the thumb is stretched along the conductor in the direction of current thumb is stretched in the direction of current or you can say thumb is pointed in the direction of current then the fingers this fingers curl around this conductor indicates the direction of magnetic field what i say what the right hand thumb rule hey the conductor in our right hand hey the conductor in our right hand this is a conductor current carrying conductor this is held in this right hand in such way that the thumb is straight or pointed in the direction of current this is the direction of current here in this figure this is the conductor and this is the direction of current and this conductor is held in our right hand thumb is stretched in the direction of current and then curl of fingers these are the curl of fingers indicates the direction of magnetic field we can say here suppose this is the conductor and this is the thumb stretched in the direction of current then this curl of fingers this curl of fingers indicates the direction of magnetic field then we can say that this is the direction of magnetic field which is produced around this conductor due to the current and conductor now in our uh, daily life we can observe a magnetic field produced due to the current carrying conduct, uh, conductor in our
and this is the wire second. I is the current passing in this wire and this is second wire. I is current passing in this wire. Now we have to find the force on the wire second. This is the wire second, this is the wire first. We have to find the force on the wire second. Uh, Are the 
Therefore, right of vector here arrow is indicated on the head of here. If a electron is moving in a magnetic field, if an electron is moving in a magnetic field, then force on the electron is given by the equation F is equal to minus E into V cross B. F is equal to minus E into V cross B. That is E minus E is the charge of electron. Then V is the velocity of electron and B is the magnetic field. And here F is the force <coughs> acting on electron which is moving in the magnetic field.
is equal to q into e. Therefore, instead of q into e, we can write here e of e plus that is e of inverse e means the force due to electric field e for electric field. Then this q into v cross v is nothing but the magnetic force. Therefore, we can write here F in this M. That is M for the magnetic field. The force due to magnetic field. Therefore, the resultant force or net force acting on a charge when the electric field and magnetic field both fields are present. Then the net force is given by the vector F E plus vector F E. And this force is known as the Lorentz force. This force is known as the Lorentz force. Now we will discuss about the features of this Lorentz force. We can say this is equation first. Or uh, equation this is second. This is the equation three. Now we will discuss about the features features of. Charge will be equal to zero when this charge is moving 
in the direction of magnetic field. And second case, if we consider second case, if we consider that if if v is equal to zero, if v is equal to zero, that is velocity of equal to zero. V is equal to zero. It means there is a presence of magnetic field. There is a presence of magnetic field. But velocity of charge is equal to zero. It means that from this equation we can say <coughs> V is equal to zero. Therefore F is equal to that is magnetic force will be equal to zero. F is equal to zero. If magnetic field is not equal to zero, magnetic field is present. That is magnetic field is not equal to zero. That is even if we can say that even if V is not equal to zero, but the magnetic force F is, F is equal to zero because the velocity is equal to zero. That is we can say <laughs> the effect of magnetic force will be zero on the charge which is not me or which is at the rest. These are the two cases. Then we will, we will discuss about the from this equation we can discuss or we can say that the force or Lorentz force in this Lorentz force the electric the force due to the electric field is depend upon the charge magnitude of charge and electric field state of electric field that is the electric force is depend upon the Q and E as well as the magnetic force that is, this magnetic force here can is depends upon the charge as well as the cross product of velocity and magnetic field. Cross product of velocity and magnetic field. Then, now we will discuss.
unit of divided by unit of charge. What is the unit of charge? Coulomb. Coulomb is the unit of charge. C is symbol. And velocity. Velocity. Unit of velocity is equal to meter per second. That is meter per second. This can write as Newton second upon Coulomb meter. See, this is not for, this is centimeter, this is not centimeter. This is the capital C and small m. C for the Coulomb and m for meter. This looks like as a centimeter. But remember that this is the capital C and this is the small m. Therefore, this is the symbol of Coulomb and this is the meter. Therefore, unit of B is equal to Newton second upon Coulomb meter. Then we can find out the dimension of P. Dimension of B will be equal to dimension of force divided by dimension of Q into dimension of V. In LM class, we have already discussed how to find out the dimension. Then dimension of F divided by dimension of Q into dimension of V. By using this, we can find out the SI unit of magnetic field. By using the dimension, we can find out the SI unit of magnetic field. This is the one more SI unit here. Tesla is also the unit of magnetic field and this one Tesla is equal to 10 raised to 4 gauss. One Tesla is equal to 10 raised to 4 gauss. And this is about the magnetic field due to the electric current. Okay.